Welcome back. It's time for our Health Africa Health Report. Joining us now is Africa 54 Health correspondent Lino Mudu with an update on the Ebola virus in West Africa. Lino. Hello, Vincent. Hello, everyone. Officials say more than 100 people have died in an outbreak of Ebola in West Africa, where the disease may have infected as many as 175 people. Ebola, which causes internal and external bleeding and is almost always fatal, began last month in Guinea. Guinea's health ministry says there are 151 suspected and confirmed cases of the disease in the country, and 98 people have died. The World Health Organization says Liberia has recorded 10 deaths and 21 cases. Sierra Leone has ruled out Ebola in its two suspected cases, and two of Mali's six suspected cases have been cleared. Guinea worm disease and river blindness are diseases the World Health Organization considers neglected. Thanks to the efforts of the Atlanta-based Carter Center, focused treatment and prevention are leading to the elimination of one and the extinction of another. When former President Jimmy Carter and the Carter Center staff started working to eradicate Guinea worm disease in 1986, it was found in 21 countries in Africa and Asia. But we had three and a half million cases of guinea worm. And village by village, we've done away with it. And last year, we only had 146 cases in the whole world. Most of the remaining infections by the parasitic worm are found in South Sudan, where Mr. Carter says, despite the recent unrest, the Carter Center continues working to prevent transmission of the disease by monitoring and filtering water sources. So it's a big operation still at this moment. I think we have about 212 people on our payroll, almost all of whom have been trained locally, and about 8,000 women uh, who volunteer their services. Elsewhere in Africa, the Carter Center has shifted its focus from controlling river blindness, another parasitic infection, to eliminating it. While river blindness can't be eradicated like guinea worm, the Carter Center discovered that by modifying the dosage of the antibiotic ivermectin, she gets three, three tablets. it could be eliminated in the human body. And we found out eventually that instead of just controlling the, the disease, we had to give a, a pill every year. If we gave two to four pills a year, then the, the adult worms that created the microfilaria would be eliminated. So we found out that in Latin America and six countries, we could completely do away with rubber blindness permanently. And now we've tried that in Africa and found it to be successful again. The World Health Organization reports about 18 million people worldwide suffer from river blindness. 99% of them in Africa. It can be so itchy that these patients can itch their skin so much that part of their skin actually goes white. And then there's a huge stigma still in some parts of Africa of associating some parts of skin going white with leprosy. Dr. Aisha Sethi is an assistant professor of infectious diseases at the University of Chicago Medical Center. She says river blindness, which is the second leading cause of preventable blindness by infection, hurts both people and the economy. You see, the more people that are poor and are sick and are, you're, you're losing the working capacity of that country, you're losing the money that family is making towards treatment of that person. Dr. Sethi is originally from Pakistan, one of the first countries where the Carter Center eradicated guinea worm. As she works on a field manual about neglected tropical diseases she hopes to publish in a few years, one uncertainty about the book is how to represent guinea worm. I don't know if we'll have guinea worm in there except as a historic perspective. Maybe by the time the book comes out, we might be down to zero cases. Zero cases is the goal of the Carter Center and an achievement that former President Carter, who turns 90 in October, is confident he will witness in his lifetime. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Chicago. And that's our Africa Health Report for today. Back to you, Vincent. Well, thank you very much, uh, Lino. Be sure to watch uh, Lino Madu's Africa app, <laughs> Africa 54 Health Reports every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Africa 54.